What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Yan Mega team that also features Gravity Sableye. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. But the main purpose for this team is to lead Sableye, pop the gravity, and then have Pokemon like Yan Mega or Ninetales use Hypnosis with high accuracy with gravity and put a lot of Pokemon to sleep. Yan Mega is a Gen 4 bug type Pokemon, and honestly, it is one of the coolest bugs to ever be released in Pokemon. So I'm super excited to actually be showcasing him in today's video. But this team right here was made by Andy Love VGC. Huge shout out to him. Link to his channel will be down in the description below. So if you want the Poke Pace or want to see this team more in depth, head over to his channel. Like I already mentioned, the link is down in the description below. But the first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is going to be the Sableye. It's got Prankster with the Roselli Berry, and it's rocking Gravity. Quash, Will-O-Wisp, and Light Screen. So, no damage hitting moves. He's got some big time support moves. We're going to be using him a good bit in today's video. We got Yan Mega, the star of the show, in our second slot with Speed Boost as its ability and the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Detect, Hypnosis to put Pokemon to sleep, and then two stab moves with Air Slash and Bug Buzz. In our third slot, we got Landorus, Sheer Force, and Life Orb Landorus. This thing hits really hard. Love having this on the team. It's got Protect with Sand Seer Storm. Sludge Bomb, and then Terra Blast for its final move. Fourth slot is going to be Wo Chen, a Pokemon that you ha don't really see too much on the rank ladder anymore, but it's still, in my opinion, a pretty strong Pokemon. It's got Tablets of Ruin with the Weakness Policy as its item, and it's Rocking Protect, Mud Shot, Dark Pulse, and Leaf Storm. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Alolan Ninetales, a top tier regulation E Pokemon, considering it's set to Snow and at the same time set to Aurora Bell. It's got Light Clay as its item with Blizzard, Hypnosis, Aurora Bell, and Protect. And our final slot is going to be the Iron Bee, the Iron Bundle over here. This Pokemon, phenomenal. Super fast, high special attacking, really can't go wrong with it on any team. It's got Cork Drive and the Booster Energy, and then it's Rock and Protect, Ice Wind, Blizzard, and Hydro Pump, which in my opinion is the best move set for any Iron Bundle. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right here in the corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto the regulation E ladder. Look to grab some wins with Yan Mega. First match coming at you guys, and it looks like we're going up against a really cool Trick Room team. They got Rapska with Dragalge, Grimmsnarl, Hatterene, and then Conkledor and Electral. So this team is definitely a Trick Room team. How should we play it? How should we get after it? I could definitely set a War Bell up turn one, no problem, and I kind of want to do that. I feel like that would be a really good Pokemon to actually lead, and I can also lead with Sableye and set Gravity if I want to. But honestly, I don't think we're going to want to use Sableye in this battle. We're going to go probably Snow Squad for lead. I really do like it for the lead, right? It's not a bad lead. We also have you, which you lower physical attacking or special attacking? Special attacking, which is gorgeous. A lot of special attackers on our team. We might want to bring them in here. But honestly, I like Landers here, and honestly, I like Yan Mega too. So you know what? We're just not even going to bring in Wochen, even though Wochen would be pretty solid. I just like the other two Pokemon that we have, so... We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But yeah, definitely a heavy Trick Room team going on here. They're probably going to lead, say, Grimmsnarl for Shreens and Hatterene for a nice little lead. That is definitely a possibility. Definitely a possibility. They also have Rabska, which I know it learns Revival Blessing. So it can just revive a Pokemon. And I actually love that move. I wish a few more Pokemon did learn it. So I do think it's a very cool move because when they add it into the... Uh, into the uh this game i was super excited to see how it actually works and it's pretty cool but it's just not used as much as it should be so they end up sending out hatterene and conkledor conkeldor chill in there it does have moth punch it could protect it i could be guts too guts flame orb that's definitely an option but yeah i i would love to set up this beautiful lovely aurora bell hands down that's my turn one play so I'm going to set up the Roar Bell, and on top of that, I'm just going to start chucking Blizzards. Maybe we can get a Freeze, maybe we can get Crits, do some big time damage. Blizzard is where it's at. So I'll Blizzard up, they're probably going to set the Trick Room. But again, we're going to set our Roar Bell at the same time, which is going to be good. The Conqueror ends up protecting, yeah, this is definitely Guts. Flame Orb into Trick Room with the Hatterene. And we'll get off this Roar Bell, which is good. And maybe, just maybe we can get a Freeze here, that'll be awesome. Can we get a Freeze? Nah, we ain't that lucky. We ain't that lucky. So, we set up the Roar Belt, we get that for 8 turns, which is gorgeous, and Hatterene's gonna click Trick Room. Yeah, all day. So, Trick Room comes out here, probably Flame Orb right onto the Conqueror, correct? Yeah. And the Raid Rock. 
We're ready to rock with that thing. So from here, I could actually terrestrialize the Iron B into a nice level of ghost type. I think I might do that. This Iron B doesn't really fare too well up against fighting moves. And then on top of that, we can just Blizzard. So I'm going to Blizzard, I'm going to Thrasilize, and I'm just going to double Blizzard. We're just going to Blizzard Spam. And we're going to say that the Conqueror is coming after my Iron Bundle with some sort of fighting move, right? It just makes the most sense. The nice little Ghost Terra coming out here for us. We love it. And Hatterene actually hits very hard, too. So I'm kind of scared of that Pokemon as well. But again, we're just trying to waste out some Trick Room turns, trying to get after it. And he's going to end up going for a Mystical Fire. It's going to lower my special attack, too, which kind of sucks. And you get a crit, of course. My luck is terrible. <clears throat> Conqueror is going for Drain Punch, and a beautiful Ghost Terror comes out for us. We love the Ghost Terror. Ninetales is going to launch a Blizzard. going to do a little bit of damage. And Iron Beast is going to launch another Blizzard. And of course, leave Hatterene on 1 HP. Of course. Now it eats a berry and it's ready to go. Now it eats a berry and it's ready to go. So burn damage is going to slowly chip up. Um, I think with our back end Pokemon, we might just want to double protect here. And kind of go from there. But honestly, I'm just going to protect one. I'm just going to blizzard the other slot. Actually, Dazzle Gleam could come out here. But you know, we're just going to double protect here. Waste out a trip turn. That's the plan. Let Burn chip up a little bit. They might swap. They probably won't. Oh, they are going to. Hatterene gets a swap. So this would have been a big time turn for us to just double Blizzard again. But it's fine. We'll take a nice little double protect. He's going to swap into Rabska. We won't hit that protect button. I'm not dealing with it. is so funny, man. <laughs> it just is such a funny looking Pokemon. It really is. The Conkledor is going to go for the EQ. Okay. Makes sense. And we get a nice little double protect. So waste out these trick and turns are going to be lovely for us. We got a lot of Orville left in us. Um, and on top of that, we got some faster Pokemon in the back end. Let's see how many turns are left in everything. We got two, which is beautiful because I should have protect on both of these Pokemon, right? Yeah, protect and detect. So if both these guys go down, Pokemon that we have out on the field, we can just protect next turn and waste out the turns. But from here, it's just going to be a simple double blizzard again. I'm going right after it. Getting right in. So Earth Power is going to fly here. Iron Bundle is going to be able to soak pretty well. And he might double down into me. Oh, there's the EQ. Telepathy comes out here. Can you eat this up, Iron Bundle? I'm really hoping you can. You can. Beautiful. I knew Ninetales wasn't, but Iron Bundle in the, in the snow with the Roar Veil. We love it. Blizzard now comes out here. Finishes off the Conqueror. And wraps gets out here. So, the real question is, the real question is, and it's something that I have a problem with, if it goes in that Hatterene, could they double Trick Room? You do. Does Raps can learn Trick Room? I think it does. So, he could read a double Protect for me, and I'm kind of scared of that. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and lie. But you know what? I'm just going to Sludge Bomb you. And just protect the iron bundle. How about that? How about that? That that makes a bit more sense. I like that the best. Because they could read us double protecting and potentially go into a double trick room. Cancel out the trick room and reset the turns. So I might as well at least attack with one of them, right? I like that the best. I like that the best. For sure. Oh, show. Just get rid of Hatterene. The iron bundle is just going to straight up protect here. And we'll see what they want to do. No, they just straight up attack him. Okay, so they end up psychicking in, into me, and that's some damage. That's a bit too much damage, and this thing pulls off a little Bible blessing. Oh, that's ugly. Conqueror is going to come back here, but we get some speed going, which is lovely. So he's going to revive Conqueror back into the game. We got a lot of speed. We waste out Trick Room, and I think I might just over, over, did a little bit of overthinking there, right? The Sludge Bomb Fly is going to KO the Hatterene. Um, from here, it's probably just Sandseer Storm into, uh, into Blizzard, right? Not gonna lie, Conqueror could come out here and mock punch me, which is a little scary. It is a tad bit scary. And that's who's gonna come out here. You know, maybe we can eat that up. I still got a War Bell cooking. I do still have a War Bell. Yeah, I don't mind just going in Sandseer Storm and into a, a Hydra Pump. I'm gonna Hydra Pump this, uh, this Rapska. So we'll see what Conqueror wants to do. It could be a mock punch play here. 
And he's gonna end up terrestrializing. So the big time terror comes out here, probably from Raps, I would think, right? Yeah. Raps is gonna come out here and terrestrialize into straight ground. So if we land this Hydro Pump, that's gonna be beautiful. That's gonna be lovely. Big time ground or uh, Hydro Pump. He ends up protecting. Can we just land this Hydro Pump, please? Please, Iron Bundle. I love you. I love you, Iron Bundle. Rip him the Hydro Pump. Get it on out of here. That's a big time turn for us. So he ends up protecting. He gets the Guts triggered back. Um, hmm. From here, we might just want to target down the, the Iron or the Conqueror. Sand Seer Storm is going to get blocked. We still have Beyond Mega. This is a solid match right here. Real solid match going on. He's going to have the Guts trigger. So I think he wants the Guts trigger to try to mock Punch and KO my, my Lando. Which makes sense. And the final Pokemon could be Electros, right? Could definitely be Electros. Who has Levitate? He does have Levitate. And did you guys just see the ground there? Little whack. Definitely a little whack. So since you have Levitate, I am just going to rip a Sludge Bomb into that slot. And I'm going to try to land another Hydro Pump. I might double down the Conqueror. Do I double down the Conqueror? No. I'm going to try to Hydro Pump that thing for the KO. Let's see what he ends up doing. Mock Punch, yeah, can you eat that? You do, beautiful. Aurora Veil, not very effective. We love that. Hydro Pump's gonna land again, and we're not even gonna use Yon Mega in this match. We're not even gonna use it, unless Electros KOs us, but. Nice little Sludge Bomb's gonna do some nice damage on that thing. Beautiful. He's gonna go for a Charge Beam. Charge Beam's gonna pick up the KO. He gets a special attack boost, but again, Yon Mega in the back end. Really solid, especially with the Focus Ash. That's gonna be, that's gonna wrap it up. That's gonna wrap it up. A little bit of focus ash because chance sorry he's gonna go for an electric move into me in the omega omega's just gonna soak it sand seer storm can come out here or not sand seer storm another sludge bomb and on top of like bug buzz or an air slash could really get some damage off here so we'll go for another sludge bomb and on top of that we'll just go for a nice little bug buzz get some damage and match number one yo great across the board opponent swapping in and out at the at the right times we wasted out trick and turns pretty well we're just gonna take this match from here if there's a sludge bomb bug buzz gonna connect and say GG. So 1 0 to get things started. Let's hop to our second match. Look at Yuzhan Mega a little bit more. Second match on its way. And we're going up against another Trick Room team. They got Glacier. They're also rocking out with Water Ogre Pond, Ursa Luna, Frigoraph, and then they got Sinisha and King Gambit. I feel as the Ninetales is going to be great here again. Setting up the Sandstorm, or not Sandstorm, the Snow and the Roar Veil is going to be perfect. Other Pokemon that I think are going to be pretty solid here is going to be maybe like the Iron Bundle and all that stuff. And I might just want to go Yon Mega, maybe turn one. Try to land a Hypnosis. Maybe, maybe not. Not too sure. But the thing is, for Rigoraph, we can hit it pretty hard. And that wouldn't be a bad turn for us. So you know what? I'm going to go Yon Mega. If they want to set up Trick Room, they could set up Trick Room. I am probably going to be bringing in... You in the back end because you're not bad. You're gonna lower some special attacking damage. And you can really get after it. So you know what? Yeah, I like that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's let's go back to back here. We won the first match. This match seems like it's gonna be a bit tougher, but I like the team that we're bringing in here. I do. It's lovely. It is lovely. So I mean, turn one if they do go for a graph, what chances are they? They probably will. I am just gonna go into my bug buzz, and on top of that, set up the war bell. So yeah, there's for a graph. There's Ursula. Ursa Luna could definitely just protect here. Would be a fair option. Would definitely be a fair option. So, Snow Warning comes out here. We definitely want to set up that open well, Get that cooking. And then from here, we could try to put you to sleep. Or we could just go for a Bug Buzz. Into Frigoraph. I'm just going to go for a Bug Buzz into Frigoraph. Lovely little Bug Buzz. I could have went for the Hypnosis, which would have been awesome if it landed. But 60 accuracy... It's tough. It's brutal because I, I just have a feeling that we would miss it more so than land it. So I'd rather just go after attacking. So Aurora Bell gets set up here. Bug Buzz going to fly out here. How much damage are we doing? We're bringing it down to one. Are you not even sashed? You're not even sashed. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable that you're living on one HP there. And now my Yamega is going to go down to sash. That is just... That's just terrible, man. You sash up there? Or, or no, you don't even sash up. You just live on one HP and get a free focus ash. That is ridiculous. Now that now that now that's a little ridiculous, right? Let's 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 be real here. That's a little ridiculous. So from here, um, I think we just detect, waste some turns out here, detect and go for a blizzard. But yo, come on with the one HP bandits, yo. 
I just hate it. I hate it. Especially when it's just like, like that was a big part of the game. If we pick up the KO onto uh, Varigarath, we pretty much win that game. Like countering Trick Room on a Trick Room team grants us speed for the rest of the match and we just rip up. Usually works out pretty well. But we're going to detect the Yon Mega. They're going to end up going for a Hyper Voice. And I mean, what's called is probably dead, right? Nine Tails. Let's see. No. Okay, so Nine Tails is going to live this. Beautiful. We waste out a turn here. And Ninetales is going to live this all day. And on top of this, Blizzard's going to fly and do some big time damage onto both. So, Frigraph drops out. Ursaloon is low on HP. So, I think from here, we might want to. Do we want to swap Yon Mega and save it for after tracking purposes? Because if they go into another special attacker, I could just go into Wu Chen, lower the special attacking on the field. But this thing is physical. He is a physical little guy. Hmm. So, again, I could go into Wu Chen. Potentially Terrasalize into Ice next turn. And just save Yon Mega. How many turns we got left in Trick Room? We have three. So you know what? Yeah, we're going to waste out some turns here. I'm just going to go Protect here. I'm going to swap my one HP Yon Mega in for Wo Chen. I am scared of an Icicle Crash or an Ice move going into the Yon Mega slot. But I mean, it's one HP. I don't really see it coming into the slot. And then we can potentially just Terrasalize our Wo Chen. I thought it was special attack. It's it's physical attack, so that actually works a bit better. We'll lower glaciers. Uh, how hard glaciers hit me? Icicle crash is gonna come in. Of course it does. Of course you go for an icicle crash into. Oh, we get weak policy though. But of course you go into icicle crash into a one HP on mega. Just makes no sense. So we get the boost. The blood moon is gonna come out. You're are gonna block it. Um. Okay, now it's gonna be a perfect time for us to actually terrestrialize Wu Chen. I'll go for the Blizzard. I'm going to Terrasalize Wu Chen and. I should go for Dark Pulse. Actually, Leaf Storm might be a better play here. Just do as much damage as he possibly can in the Glacier. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. So he's going to end up Terrasalizing as well. So Glacier probably gets the Terror type. And what Terror type are you cooking? No, it's going to be the, the Ursa Luna. Into normal. Looking to do as much damage as it can with uh, Hyper Voice. Okay, I feel you. I understand. I understand we're terrestrializing as well. So I have Yon Mega in the back end. We're wasting out some trick room turns beautifully here. And we're hoping we can get off at least one turn with both these guys, and then I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. We'll see. We'll see. Roar Bell's helping us out tremendously. Heavy Slam's gonna come in here, and that's gonna pick up KO. Now I'm a little scared. Now I'm a little scared here. What move are you going for here? Because I don't, I don't think you go for another blood moon, right? You can't go for back to back blood moons. Yeah, Hyper Voice is going to come out here. Wu Chen should be able to bulk that, right? Yeah, all day. Big time bulk up. We are weakness policy boosts here. Leaf Storm going to be cooking. It's going to do some nice damage on the Glacier. here. So they pick up some nice damage. Um, I wish I could check how many turns are left in Trick Room. From here. It's terrible that you can't. It's kind of lame that you can't. Hmm. And I'm just gonna go into Yon Mega. I know Yon Mega can just protect it. And I'd rather sacrifice Yon Mega over Landorus full HP. So I'm gonna go Yon Mega here. So I bring back out the one HP Yon Mega. How many turns left to trick him? I think maybe one would be awesome. One, awesome. So this is just a simple detect, bang, simple protect, bang, trick room, gone again. We're killing it in Waste Down Trick Room turns today. Loving it. Love Waste Down Trick Room. It's too easy. It's too easy. I'm getting good at it. I'm getting real good at it. So double protect can come out here. They can't hit us. We will take speed afterwards. And then from here, bum, 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 what do I even do? This glacier could probably soak up any shot that we throw at it, but I'd rather get rid of the Ursula because I know a nice lovely sands here, Storm uh, Lando can get off some big time damage and uh, get some work done. So close combat's gonna fly here. And another hyper voice is coming after me. Big time blocks. Big time blocks. So a perfect time for Yon Mega to come out here, actually. As I protect, I get the speed boost, trick remains. It works wonders. Now plus one on the speed. On the speeds. So from here, I'm thinking of just bug buzz and Ursula KO in that. Yeah, I think it's a better play. And then just trying to go for probably just like a dark pulse here if we can. And just take out the glacier. 
I like it. I don't think it's going to take out the Glacier, but still, it's going to do a nice chunk of damage onto it. You know he's a lovely chunk of damage. He's probably going to close combat me, but from here, we pretty much can just wrap this one up, right? Looking real good. Dark right, Pulse flies. We have a chance of flinching here, too, which would be nice. And we do get the flinch, yo. Big time flinch is coming out here. I don't think they have any Pokemon with first turn priority. So, if that's the case, we, we pretty much lock this one up. Oh, never mind. I lied. I did a fib. I fibbed. I definitely fibbed. I still like Sandseer in the back end. He's going to do some work. There he Thrastalize as well. Um, From here, he's going to Sucker Punch me. You know what? We're going to try and land a Hypnosis. Actually, second moves do not land on them. Right? Or is this considered... Because it's not attacking him. You know what? I want to try that out. We're going to go for a Hypnosis onto him. And I'm going to Mud Shot him. Actually, I'd rather do some a bit more damage onto Glacier. I want to see if Hypnosis is going to land onto him. Because I know he's going for Sucker Punch. I know he's going for Sucker Punch. There's no doubt in my mind he's going for Sucker Punch. But I know Psyche moves do not land on a Dark-type Pokemon. But is that just for hitting? I'm kind of just testing things here. Right? The Sucker Punch comes out here. It's going to fail. Hypnosis... He's going to miss or it's just not going to land? It's just going to miss. Okay, so it can land. Now Dark Pulse flies. Do we get another flinch? No, we die. We die. But I get to bring out Lando. It's a beautiful Pokemon. We save Lando for a perfect time here. We are now going to Sans here, Storm. We're just going to try to, I guess, land another Hypnosis. Right? Chilling these boosts this thing. This thing's hitting hard. <laughs> you got to stop that. Yeah, stop that. So from here, we're gonna go right into you. And we're gonna try to rip the sands here, Storm. Not playing around. Not playing around. So we're gonna go for another hypnosis. Or I could, you know, try to go for bug buzz instead. You know what? Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna go attacking. If you wanna sucker punch me, you can sucker punch me. I should probably just bug buzz it last turn, but then I would have died to sucker punch, so. There's a sucker punch, maybe again should have went for hypnosis, but as long as this sands here storm lands. I think we win this match, right? You just gotta land. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, game set match. Like I said, I really wasn't worried about anything with Lando in the back end. I had confidence he was landing the uh, Sandseer Storm. And there it is. Double KO. 2-0. Let's go hop to a third. Look for that 3-0 perfect record. Final match on its way. Can we go 3-0? I hope so. Considering we're going up against a nice little meta squad here with Dust Cops, Rillaboom, Ogre Pond, Shen Pao, and then he's got Hisui and Gudra and Zapdos. So, you know, I'm going to try to pull off the gravity combo here. I like it a lot. You can set the gravity, have Hypnosis land really easily, and then go into Sandseer, Landorus, and Iron Bundle. So, pretty simple Pokemon that I want to bring in here. But I really want to try to pull off that gravity because Yamek has been pretty solid for us today. It really has been. Doing some big time damage in match number two right there. Missing a Hypnosis, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, coming in clutch for us. We love it. We love it so much. But Yam Mega is definitely one of those Pokemon that's very, like, niche. Like, it's not, like, a staple meta Pokemon that's just going to kill the ladder. Be perfect. It's very situational. Like, you have to put it in a good situation for it to thrive. Considering its typings, eh. But it's really, and its stats are, eh. But, again, really cool Pokemon that I, I love showcasing. I love using Yam Mega every chance I get in any game. But this design is just amazing. It's a giant, monstrous dragonfly. Can't go wrong with that. Cannot go wrong with that. But I think they're going to lead a, like, a Rillaboom here, or maybe, like, Shelter Gudra. Try to get those stats boosting there. It could go Dust Cops here and potentially pop Trick Room, but I just don't see that happening. There's just no point of even bringing in Dust Cops up against my team. I don't really have a Tailwind set or anything. I do have some fast Pokemon. Speed Boost could work well for us, but other than that, I, I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't bring Dust Cops. They're going to end up leading Dust Cops. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just talking about it. Now Dust Cops comes out here with the Ogre Pond. So from here, I think this is a... I don't... Again, I don't think he popped Trick Room. I'm going to reveal my items, and I'm just going to set up this Gravity. So I'm going to go Gravity, and I'm just going to Detect this turn. Gravity and a lovely Detect. I could see Ogre Pond potentially just going into a its mask form and just hit me hard. But I'm kind of hoping he does that and goes after Yan Megan, because at that point, I would get Speed Boost, and I can... Legit just hypnosis it and kind of put to sleep and go from there. But I could see the Stuss Cops potentially have an ally switch, which would be a tad bit of an issue. We would not like the ally switch on Dust Cops. That's a pain in the neck. 
that move is so annoying because once they use it, it's in their head for the rest of the match. So they're going to end up, like I said, putting on the mask here. No. Dust Cops coming here with Terra A dark Terra type. So I guess he wants to dodge like Prankster, I guess. I guess that was his play. I'm just going to detect here. Okay. I don't mind that because now Bug is super effective on the dark. I set up the lovely little gravity. So gravity comes out, you're Ogre Pond. Are you just going for an Ivy Cudgel? You are, but into Sableye. And you just crit and KO me? Is that, is that, is that what we do now? Is, is that what we do? And you pop a Trick Room. So smart plays for him. Real smart plays. But but that, that's what we're doing now. We're just Ivy Cudgel and, and get, getting the lucky crits. I didn't, mi I didn't mind the, the Trick Room if it came out. It was in the back of my head. But the problem was... I needed Sableye. Sableye was a big time play for me. And the reason being... Because... I could have just quashed the Ogre Pond this next turn. Oh, it's so ugly, man. Now we're sitting in a pretty tough position. I got Focus Ash, though. And I might just want to go for a nice, lovely Sludge Bomb into you. And that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to try to Hypnosis the... Uh... Now, you know what? We're just going to Bug Buzz. We're just going to Bug Buzz him. That's so ugly. I hate this game. You do hate this game. I, mean, I could go Terra. I might do. Yeah, I'm going to Terrasalize here. Yeah, it's gonna be my play. That's so annoying. Because if I had Sableye, I'd just quash somebody and it really helps us out tremendously. But no, crits are, crits are doing me bad. So I'm gonna put a little dragon skull on this thing's head. Love it. I love how Yamega looks. I'm gonna look to get after because I do think Ivy Cudgel is gonna come in here. And no, you're just gonna really with me. Lovely. So we're just getting absolutely ripped here. Just what I wanted to get ripped in this match. Ivy Cudgel can come out here. We will soak pretty well here. And Sludge Bomb's gonna fly. How much damage are we doing with Sludge Bomb? Beautiful. KO and Sheer Force Lando. Sheer Force Lando just bypassing the... The what's it called? The Will-O-Wisp. Bug Buzz coming out here. Doing some big time damage onto the Dust Cops. And we'll take some damage. I'm cool with that. Speed Boost gonna come out here. Trick Room is in full effect. We still have the Iron Beam in the back end. So maybe we just wanna protect some turns. Maybe waste things out. Really depending on who they bring out here. Super surprised about this cops. Now they go Shen Pao. The Shen Pao could easily just go for a sucker punch. That is a possibility. I think Sansier Storm is going to be your play all day. And on top of that, we're just going to go for a nice little detect here, right? Yeah, I'm just going to detect you. Shen Pao is going to protect as well. That's fine. We end up protecting our level Yan Mega, who I believe the Dust Cops is going after. So we might just get some free damage on the Dust Cops. No, you end up Pain Split me. Oh, I hate Dust Cops. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> comes out there with the Pain Split. Dust Cops just a pain in the neck, especially when it comes to Trick Room. So Sansier Storm's going to land. It's going to bring him back down to half. We do lose some HP, and Shenpao could suck a bunch. I mean, definitely could. Speed Boost's going to come out here. I think from here, how many turns are left in Trick Room now? Two. Yeah, we just straight up start attacking. I think we just go for a nice little Sandseer Storm. And on top of that, we just go for a Bug Buzz and double down into the Shen Pao slot. The Shen Pao is fastest on the field. Actually, never mind. Yan Mega is now. We could just go for an Ice Spitter, but I like, I like Sandseer Storm here. But I like the Iron Bead Lake game. We have one turn left in Trick Room. I can always just protect and waste it out. And then go from there. So Nice Shade's gonna come across here. Land is gonna be able to soak. Sansier Storm's gonna double land. Get rid of Dust Clops. And on top of that, this is lovely. Bring out Focus Ash of Shen Pao. Hey, making some moves here. Jeans is making some moves here. We love it. We love it. Bye, Dust Clops. Get on out of here. So Shen Pao's gonna go for that Ice Spinner. He is gonna take out my Yan Mega. That's fine. We got off plenty of value with that Pokemon. And from here, we just go into uh, our boy. We double protect, and then we go into our our iron bundle. Actually, do we want trick ending? Actually, I don't mind it. I don't mind trick ending. Yeah, we want trick ending. We're gonna double protect here, because at that point, iron bundle will outspeed. I can really start to get after it. Um, 
That's probably a sucker punch though. I'm just gonna protect Lando and I'm just gonna Icy Wind. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't know if this was a good play, but I think I'm making the read of Shen Pao going after Lando here. And I make the right call. Perfect call, James. Come on, man. We make the right call. We always make the right call. Body press coming across here. That's doing some damage, but I I, I, I like where we're sitting here. I, I like where we're sitting here. Because we get some damage off onto the Gudra. We get rid of Shen Pao. We're sitting here with Lando. And this one's coming down to it. <laughs> it's coming down to it. it. Really is. Trick room's gone. We got a little bit of speed going for us. Gravity's back to normal. And Sansier Storm should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. They already used their Terra as well. So I'll do that. I will try to land a Blizzard and set up an Icy Wind. And we'll go from there. And I'm missing my... Oh, no. I landed my Blizzard. Beautiful. As long as Sansier Storm lands, I think we win this game, right? Barry comes out from the Gudra. Sansier Storm. Fingers crossed for the win here. For the win. Let's go. Yo, 3-0 perfect record with the Xiao Mega Team. Did not think we were going to go 3-0, but hey, I'll take it all day. Played really well today. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, another perfect record on the Genius channel. Got the Ujian Mega in today's video, which is a very cool off-meta Pokemon, so hopefully you guys did enjoy it. We also had Iron Bundle, Nine Tails, Lando, Wu Chen, and Sableye doing some work for us, helping us get that winning record, and just rocking out in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.